Hey everyone. It's been a while since I've done one of my sidewalk videos. Gosh, it's been months. But I thought I needed to just hop on real quick. Um, before we get started, I do want you guys to know if anyone out there is struggling or knows someone who is struggling with thoughts of wanting to harm themselves, there is help available 24 hours a day. You can call Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 and they will get you in touch with someone and start you on a path to healing because every life matters. But I wanted to hop on real quick because Jose's life mattered too and I have seen some vile things um, being said. Yes, there was a lot of vile things said about him before this happened. Um, it is my understanding, I heard last night, I haven't triple checked it yet, but I heard from a few different places that the family said he absolutely did not take his own life, but they are not ready at this time to discuss details any further. Um, so to me, that sounds like, yes, they're waiting on talks and autopsy results, but the family has a pretty good idea of what happened they're just not ready to talk about it to the public and they have every right to keep as much of this private as they want to um but with that also comes rumors and blame there's one person in particular ernie shell who is really wanting to blame a group of people for everything wrong in his life and Ernie I watched you get up there this morning and tell your viewers you know all the things that have gone wrong in your life and blaming everyone you know it's never your fault someone always does something to you and you were talking about your health issues and how you had a mild heart attack a few days ago but then they let you go home to rest that's not the way it works if you're in there for any kind of heart problems, that's a pretty big deal. Um, if you have one heart attack, you can have another one shortly thereafter. They're not going to send someone home who comes into the ER presenting with heart problems. It's just not going to happen. That's a liability. They're going to admit you to the hospital. They're going to put you on a heart monitor. And they're going to figure out what's causing it. But you had a lot of people in your chat who I think got the impression that you were thinking of self-harm. You alluded to it pretty much the entire stream. I think that's pretty sick. You never know the struggles that people in your chats have. There could be people in your chat that are struggling and who are pretty close to the edge and you're kind of when someone's already feeling completely broken and defeated then to hear someone sit there for a couple of hours talking about how broken and defeated they are and how horrible these people are and all these terrible things that could happen to them hacked and you know just all kinds of craziness craziness but you're sitting there egging it on and feeding into those feelings of defeat. What if it's enough to push them into harming themselves? Buddy, if you're feeling that bad and you feel like you need to talk about um, all the many ways that you're broken and things like that, then maybe it's time for you to log off and go seek help. None of us want to see anything happen to you. What we want is for you to be honest about who you are. You're playing on people's emotions and using Jose's death for your own gain to get sympathy from people. You had never talked about any of this stuff before until this happened, but you're so hell bent on pushing your blocked means blocked campaign that you will even take a man's loss of life and use that to your benefit so that speaks to your character and who you really are colonel ernest max shell and i'm not impressed <laughs>